good afternoon good evening good night wherever you find yourself okay so today don't be surprised yeah um today i want to be more practical okay the topic i want to teach you today i want to be more practical so that you would understand everything i want to talk to you about okay so with me here i have my three disposable cups and then i have my bottle of water here to do the um, illustration okay so the topic today is the three types of christians the three types of christians so each of my disposable cup here would represent a christian or a type of christian so by the end of the video you should be you should be able to know which type of christian are you which type of christian are you whether you are this that or this one you should be able to tell me but before we continue the video i want you to click on the subscribe button don't forget to like and click on the bell so anytime i post a video you'll be able to watch it so let's start the video so there are three types of christians now the first type of christian is what i call them the failed christian now but before let me explain this to you this bottle of water this water inside is the word of god it is prayer it is holiness it is pure it is love it is patience long suffering everything that the bible talks about every good thing that the bible talks about is in this water in this bottle okay and these are empty people now these empty bottles have accepted jesus as a lord and personal savior so the first type of christian is what i call them the filled christian as you can see clearly if you can see it clearly the disposable cup is filled with an amount of water so these are the first type of christians they pray small they normally fast once once in a month they go to church maybe only 31st night but they call themselves christians they don't show love many any small thing they are offended at church they don't yeah something like that and so if you can see clearly the the, the bottle or the, sorry the, the cup is filled with small amounts of water so these kind of christians are people who don't take god seriously yeah they go to church they pray small they fast small but everything that they do is just small little 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 and so the space is left listen to this carefully now, when you are this type of Christians, that you have just filled just a small amount of God in you, the space is left. If you don't fill the space is left, the devil will fill it for you. And that's why we have so many Christians going through many challenges. There are so many Christians, even when they dream, they will see their aunties chasing them with cutlass. This type of Christians are people that the enemy is still fighting with them why because there are more space left why because they don't pray much they just pray small once in a year they just fast once in a year they go to church once in a year they don't read their scriptures they don't show love they are envious they they they, they hate each other see so just a little amount of god in them so the spaces left are the one that the enemy will fill so you still go to church but still the enemy can use you. You will still pray, but still the enemy will use you. You will still fast, but the enemy can still use you. Why? Because the spaces left are the ones that the enemy will use. So these are the first type of Christian, called the failed Christian. They are just filled with just small amounts of God in them. They don't just do much. The second type of Christians is what are called the fully filled Christians. As you can see, the cup is fully filled with water, no space for the enemy. So this this kind of people, nothing can change their mind from God. They can pray for themselves, they can fast, they go to church anytime, they read their scriptures, they show love, they are not envious, they don't jealous, they don't insult anybody. 
they do what the scripture tells us to do. They are very good people. They are fully filled. No space for the enemy to fill. So they are okay. So when they are in church and you even insult them, they won't stop church because of you, sake of you. They won't stop singing, sake of you. They won't stop doing good, sake of you. Nothing can shake them. Romans 8, 35, though, he said that, well, I am convinced that nothing can separate me from the love of God. These are the type of Christian that Paul was talking to them about. They are fully filled. They are, they are power. They are powerful. Nothing can shake them from God. No storms, no difficult times, no situation can turn their face from God because they are fully filled. No space for the enemy to use. So you can see they are fully filled Christians. The one disadvantage with these people is that they can pray for themselves, but they can't pray for others. They can fast for themselves, but they can't fast for others. They can show themselves love, but they can't show love to others. After the self thing they can do. Then the last type of Christians is what I call the overflow Christians. They are not just filled or fully filled, but they are overflowed. Now, let me drink another cup. Now, watch this very carefully. These are the kind of Christians I want to become, and I want you also to become. Now, what do you see here? The cup is overflowed. The cup is overflowing. So this kind of Christians, they don't just pray for themselves. They pray for others. They are so fearful. They are afraid when they see others perishing. So this kind of Christians are Christians that can impact. They don't just pray for themselves. They don't just read the scripture for themselves. But they do for others also. So as you can see, I had a cup down. The more that cup was overflowing, the more the other cup down was benefiting. So I have another water in this cup. What do I want to tell you? Until you are overflow in the grace of God, until you are overflow in the power of God, you cannot be a benefit to others. And that's why there are many Christians who cannot preach the word of God. They can preach to themselves. But when they start for evangelism, they are out. Why? Because you are only fully filled. You are not overflowing because you can only share to others when you are overflow in it. You can only pray for people to be to be healed when you are overflow in the anointing of God. When you are overflow in the word of God. So the reason why you know you are powerful yourself, you know you read the scripture, you pray for yourself, but when you pray for others, they don't receive miracles that you are just fully filled. You can occupy yourself, but you cannot occupy others. So until you are overflow in the spirit. You cannot make impact. You cannot be a disciple of God. Because the more it overflows, the more the down people also receive. So to you overflow in the spirit of God, to you overflow in the anointing of God, you cannot pray for others to heal the sick. And that's why sometimes the disciples will go to pray for people, but they will not receive healing. And they have to come to Jesus and ask Jesus, why? What is happening? Why? Because they were only fully filled. So you are overflow in the spirit of God. So you overflow in the word of God. You cannot share your grace and your power to others. And these are the type of Christians that Jesus wants us to become. That you will not just be a selfish Christian, but you will be a benefit to others. So only when God was blessing Abraham, he said that, I will make you a blessing. So you also be a blessing to others. That is the overflow of the grace of God and the power of God. So let me summarize it again. The filled Christians are Christians. They pray once in a year. They go to church 31st night. They just read their, their Bibles once in every moon. They will only pray when they stand for crock or exams or worse or BC. So there are more spaces for them for the devil to occupy. So you still go to church, but you still suffer because the enemy is still using you because there are more spaces for you. The fully filled Christian, they are okay. Yeah, they can pray for themselves. The enemy cannot use them because there is no space for the enemy. They pray for themselves, they do their worship, they do their, their morning devotion, they pay their tithe, they do their offering, but they cannot pray for others. But the full the, the overflow ones are those that can share their gift, share their prayer, share their fasting, share their love, share their, their patience, share what they have to others. 
So the reason why you cannot preach the word of God is not just because you're lazy. The lazy part is there. But it's not just because you're lazy. Why? Because you are only fully filled. So you can preach to yourself. You have to get to your point where you'll be overflowed, where you can preach to others also. So that the more you are overflowing in the grace of God, the more you'll be a benefit to other people. My question to you is, which type of Christians are you? Are you just filled with a little amount of God in you? Are you fully filled with the power of God where you can do things for yourself? Or you are overflow in the gifts and in the power of God where you don't just pray for yourself, but you pray for others? Where you are so much, the oil upon your head is so more to the extent that you can't sit when people are perishing. Are you this type of Christian where when your friend or, or your Christian brother or sister is sick, you go and pray for that person? You had that feeling that when you go and pray for that person, because the anointing is so overflowing in you that you don't just to, you don't want to just be selfish, but you want to share. It's either you are this, you are this, that, or you are this one. If you are this, I pray for you that you will move to this. And if you are this, I want to urge you to do more, pray more, read the scriptures more, fast more, show love more, pay your tithe, do offering, do things that God is telling us to do. And the more you do, the more you overflow in the spirit. And that is what God wants us to be. Which type of Christians are you? Filled? Fully filled? Or overflow? Leave a comment section. Leave your answer on the comment section. And let's pray with you. May the good Lord bless you. And grant you the grace to overflow in the spirit of God. God bless you.